On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. Who knows? However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Is that true? Listen this time, okay? <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> We're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind.
invincible. No one told me about that. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, hey can you hear, you hear me? me? You need to stay focused! focused. Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sae Nijima. Myself. Now, explain everything to me. Make sure you close up. Let me explain.
Yes. All right. Oh. Well then. Looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. All right. Let's meet up with everyone after school. With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed. They'll become the criminals we've set them up to be. Just as you instructed. We must build a society in which the young can be hopeful of a brighter tomorrow. And... It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura! So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning-fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday. A public prosecutor came to my home. Um... It was a woman named... Mijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! 
Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... we may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? Real? Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. Hey, hey!
Bless that girl. Worrying about others even at a time like this. Impossible.
What would you like? Okay, let's get going. Thanks. Let's get back. Yo.
I've been waiting. Any questions? Let me explain. Sorry. Thanks in advance. Nice work. This sucks.
Hey, are you listening?
Please, consider what I have to say. You. Good evening. to it. here for today. Haru. She's the one who should be in pain right now, yet she's still trying to cheer us up.
Anyway...
Hey. Really? Fine. See you later. Haru, 
I'm not surprised she seems down. You should keep her in your thoughts. Still, despite how she looks, Haru has quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. Let's do it. All right.
Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were gonna change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh man, does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Well, shall we begin? You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi-kun has been right all along. He's so admirable sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him. That's enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. Now everyone. Phantom Thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a Phantom Thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. Oh crap. You think so? I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it online just in case. I hope the cops catch him. Okay, class, let's get started. Nice! 
police are here again? Yeah, seems like it's for real this time. Apparently one of our students is a phantom thief. Seriously? I read the same thing online. Apparently public security is already on the move. open um welcome Wait.
those plants do need watering after all. Oh, I know. You should go help Haru. I'll let the others know. <sighs> How troubling. Oh, have you come up here to assist me? You, um, heard that, didn't you? I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. It's just... so much has happened to me lately. <sighs> well, perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been... difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. I am. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. It's just... I know I'm the president's daughter, but I never thought I'd actually end up involved in company business. Because of that, lately I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets? Stocks? It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? In return, I'll... Hmm. What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? I grew these right here in these very planters, and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... <laughs> you like vegetables? That's good to know. But to tell the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san will give me his honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? Congrats on surviving midterms. <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. acting upon them. In order to make that natural course of action a reality, I will... Uh, again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... 
The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet member. So someone used the Medjet name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they used the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? Before summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group and the one who tampered with the site are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjet's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing, and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way! This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? Indeed, we don't. It'll be more dangerous jumping to conclusions and assuming we figured it out. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. 
That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work, then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful, though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Everything's going to be fine. Unless they know about the Metaverse, there's no way they'll get any info on us.
Damned phantom thieves.
were there today too, right? Yeah. What do those damn cops think they are? They can't just stare us all down like that. Maybe the rumors are true. Maybe there's a phantom thief at our school. Okay, quiet down. Well then, next up is Takamaki-san, and you two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives gave us. Just don't say more than is necessary, and try and get it over with quick. Take a seat. We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah, yes. You're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamashita. You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? The more friends, the better, right? I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're free to go now. Oh, I almost forgot. There's just one more thing I have to ask you. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are associated with this school? We won't know for certain unless we investigate further. Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. Seems we were all asked the same questions. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. Oh, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my name would come up as well. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? Especially those eyes. It was like they were smiling, but not. I'm sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's not true, Mako-chan. It 
It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen, but now that it's become reality, I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names, right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. They were so popular too. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for everyone else, you need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah, uh, fine. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> your clothes up. Let me explain. Another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> Still, I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. What's going on?
Do you know this one? This is it. Correct! Nice going! We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one too, Akechi. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? We're gathering information too, you know, like uh, online and stuff. I guess that's one way of saying it. Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. Ugh, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? 
What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How is Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? It's not that I don't trust her, but... Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. Hey. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. W what Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change? staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? Don't let things get complicated, okay? Having to keep dealing with that stuff later on is a pain. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. Just at this. Been searching all along. 